Hi, in this session, I'll try to show how to install Oracle 11G on Windows platform. The main target audience of this video will be the beginners. Uh, I'll try to help them like how to install Oracle on Windows platform. Okay. So, first you need to download this software from oracle.com. Uh, there will be various options like 32 bit, 64 bit. Okay, this is the single instance database installation. Okay, so uh, you need to download two files file 1 and file 2 uh, for either 32 bit or 64 bit based on your machine's configuration. Okay, there will be two zipped files and you need to extract them into this particular folder will be created. This database folder will be there after you extract those uh, zip files okay now if you go to this database folder you can see this kind of folder structure is there and here you can see this setup okay now you need to run this okay now this oracle universal installer will start okay just wait okay so here you can give your oracle um, you can use my uh, oracle metalink mail id or uh, passwords to receive instant updates i'm just unchecking it now yes so you have three different options here create and configure a database install database software only upgrade existing database i'll create i'll install database and i'll create a database so i'll stick to the first option then second there is two category desktop class and server class okay St uh, the first one will be for you know, if you are installing in a laptop or desktop system then you can select this particular option and if you are installing in a server then you can select on this okay I'm going for server class now there are two options single instance database or rack so here we'll install the single instance database okay next now typical install or advanced install okay I'll click on the advanced part okay now product languages I'll just select English here as my product language database edition you need to select enterprise edition or standard edition or standard edition 1 or personal edition okay I'm going for the enterprise edition click on next now what will be your Oracle base you need to give this path whatever your machine path okay you can browse it from here and give a path okay for me it is this particular path and this is the oracle base and in this path d app leo product 11.2.0 db home underscore 2 in this path the software will be installed okay next what is the type of your software uh, what what type of database you want it is a transaction processing or data warehousing i'll go for the first option next what is your what is your global database name this is same as uh, in this case it is my SID LeoDB I have given click on next now this is the uh, different con memory related configuration enable automatic memory management it is checked by default I'll be using it okay now character set the default is this particular character set we8m is win1252 okay I'll use unicode l32 utf8 fine okay and I'll create the sample schemas like HR Scott and all okay so I'm using here MA AMM and these are the memory configurations here this is total uh, target database memory is uh, 1229 MB okay 
next now use the database control for database management enable email uh, email notifications if you want to do that then you can give your SMTP server details and mail address I am not clicking on that next now you want to install the database on ASM or file system okay so here it is simple file system this will be my uh, path where the data files will be there dot dbf files will be there in this particular path okay now if you want to set any automated backups then you can enable that I am not doing that as at this moment okay next now uh, if you want to give different password for these different users then you can provide it there or you can use the same password for all accounts I'll go for the second option okay the password entered does not conform the Oracle recommended standards so are you sure want to continue I'll go for yes cause it is uh, just a sample uh, test database in my desktop okay yes okay now it will do some pre request checks it will check swap size memories and architecture and lots of other stuffs okay okay so here you can see disk space uh, required disk space required this available this required this source location from which the which is the location of your particular software from which you are installing install method and all oracle this will be the oracle base this is the oracle home okay inventory location and global database name leodb it is also my SID what is the allocated memory what is the character set all these infos are here you can save a response file also which can be later used I am not doing that I am just clicking on finish ok now the installation will start so let's wait it will do some necessary processes ok so let's wait so now installation is going on and uh, you need to uh, allow uh, give the access cause windows firewall is blocking some features allow access ok so installation is almost done 100% now it is starting the DBCA it will create and configure the database now So you can see here it is uh, creating the database okay and you need to do you don't need to do anything uh, in this step just wait it will get completed within some time okay and another important thing while creating this DBCA uh, sorry while creating the database using DBCA you can see it is showing that the log files for the current operations are located in this if you face any errors then you can uh, see the details from this particular path the path will be shown here ok so it is still in progress let's wait for some time so now uh, the database is created now another, another prompt comes in this prompt you can unlock some accounts ok for example I'm just unlocking HR okay click on okay now these are some vital details where the server parameter files are located what is the SID what is the global database name and this is the path where your enterprise manager will be there okay now click on okay so this is the path 
I'll just uh, copy it here in some notepad okay anyway so the installation is completed in here you can see the database is installed now okay so this is it and you can test from here okay my SQL is connecting okay